Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome to a tutorial on how to make your own YouTube banner. Today we're using a software called Pixar. It's like Photoshop, but it's free. If you find yourself uh, liking the video, please drop a like, and if you're new, please subscribe. Right, let's get into it. All the links that you need for this video are down in the description, so to get you started. So when you open the template, you want to start off with opening a new layer, because you don't want to use this layer, because it's sort of the background layer. And today's banner we'll be using probably blue colour. Ah, you need to do this one on a separate uh, layer as well. Just so they don't mix, because you've got to move these around soon. Uh, today we'll be using a logo which is off the internet, so please do not use this logo because it will be copyrighted. I'm just using it for video sake. As you can see, it's just a PNG of someone's logo. It's just an example. Please do not use it. I want to move it to behind the black lines. All right, what you want to do is go on to the actual item you selected. Go on transparency and bring it down a little bit so you can just see it. And then you want to duplicate it to go on the other side. And then you want to measure it up perfectly so it looks like a mirror image. Okay, so now you want to make a new layer. Ignore the uh, transparency for a minute because you've got to put them over it. Just drag it up over the top, and there you go. And same again on the bottom. So there you go. So that's the start of your banner. Right, so next you want to go over to the toolbar. And then go on to that one, and then you want to press blur. And it blurs the image of the background a little bit for you, so you don't want it being too poppy, because then you won't see the logo. And do the same again on the other one. There you go. So you see, it just it makes the logo stand out a bit more better. Then next, you want to select that layer, because it's obviously not mirrored yet. Go over to this one and flip. So now you can see it's perfectly mirrored. So next, you want to insert. This is preference-wise. I have this on mine. So what you want to get is like a black blur, enlarge it, but my preference it does look better on the banners, and it, it makes them look more professional, so it's not just one sh flat colour. Obviously it's got like shades and tones to it. Then you want to insert your Twitter, or your Instagram, or your Facebook, PNG, whatever you want to use, it's just a preference. What you want to do is bring the background image to the front, because on here you can actually see make sure it's unlocked on here you can actually see that it says desktop tablet or mobile phone you want to get it on mobile phone because most people watch youtube on mobiles nowadays so you want to get it just millimeters away from it so it fits perfectly then you want to bring the instagram one in if you use the instagram one obviously get it down to size if you want to size it up against twitter one move it over with this uh, Pixar software, it does like a ruler for you, so it's perfectly in line now. So there you can see. Then you want to invert the colour, because I think probably a white setting would be better with this. You want to invert the colour. Then you want to go for text. So the one, to say the text I've used on my one, you see here, it's bold, it stands out, it looks smart, it looks professional. And it kind of fits with my actual logo name. Kind of, if I didn't have the actual font with it. But, if you want to use that one, I believe it's called Daddy Days. Let me just... There it is. So it's that one, and you want to put at, and then your uh, Instagram name. So this one, it's just going to be Neo. Or Neon, I mean. And then bring that down. Size it up. And then you want to duplicate this one. Because it's going to be on the opposite side as well. And there you have it. It's a free software, guys, so please have a play around. Obviously, you can change the tones, fonts. Please do not use this logo. It's obviously copyrighted by someone else. I'm just using it for this video purposes only. I'll be deleting the image afterwards, so don't copyright me, obviously, please. And then, uh, yeah, so make sure you've got your own logo. There's people on Fiverr do professional logos for you just like this. Uh, if this video was helpful, please like and subscribe. If you're new, please hit the notification bell. We do videos most days at the moment.